Hi, it's mystery author Ellie Alexander, and I am so excited to welcome you into my deadly but delicious tort test kitchen, where food meets fiction. I am not a professional pastry chef, but I play one in the pages of my Bake Shop Mysteries. This week, we're baking something sweet, so stay tuned and we'll get baking. I am thrilled to have you here in my tort test kitchen. For those of you who don't know what tort is, it is my fictional bake shop in my aptly named Bake Shop Mysteries. My bake shop might be fictional, but Ashland, Oregon, where I am right now, is real. It's real. You should totally come visit. So this week for our inaugural Tort Test Kitchen, I am going to bake the recipe from the very first book, Meet Your Baker. This recipe is for my mom's raspberry danish. It was my absolute favorite Saturday morning breakfast when I was a kid. I remember my brother and I waiting very impatiently while we were watching cartoons in the basement and my mom was upstairs in the kitchen baking this delicious, gooey, sweet raspberry danish. It felt like it took hours upon hours. When I got the recipe later as an adult from her, it's like 30, 40 minutes. It's super easy. Anyone can do it. You do not have to be a professional pastry chef. And I promise it is going to be a delicious breakfast treat. Really what it is, is breakfast dessert. It's gonna be slathered at the end with buttercream frosting and this glaze that's gonna melt into it. Okay, I gotta stop talking. Let's just get baking.
Danish raspberry Danish from Meet Your Baker. Dun, 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 dun. I can't wait to take a bite. It's so warm and it smells amazing. My advice to you if you try to bake this at home is be sure to put the frosting on right away. As soon as you take the Danish out of the oven and the raspberry jam is bubbling and warm, spread your frosting on so that you get this ooey, delicious, marbly Danish. This is what gives it its Danish name. You want the raspberry jam and the frosting to melt together to make this beautiful top. Okay, I gotta take a bite and let you know whether or not it's to die for. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> have you made this recipe at home? Be sure to comment below if you have and let me know if it turned out this way for you or if this is how you thought it was supposed to look. Now you know. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos or like my page. I'm going to be sharing Tort Test Kitchen recipes with you every week on YouTube and Facebook. I hope that you'll come along. I'll be baking recipes from my books. I'll be baking sweet recipes, savory recipes, recipes from chefs who I admire, and maybe even some of your suggestions. Happy baking.